watch it guys i made a video yesterday about the cpu floor and uh there was a patch that's been released by microsoft here kb4056892 and you can see the operating system build number is here listed now this is going to fix uh, that uh, floor that security floor that was in the cpu and also any security vulnerabilities it will resolve you can see the security update guide link is here i will put all these links in the video description now the file we're talking about is the kb4054022 and uh, you can see here uh, you can download it from their Microsoft Update catalog. It gives you a list of things you can do here. Now, first off, you need to make sure that your antivirus is uh, capable of accepting this uh, patch because you may get a, an alert. And uh, there is a list of that stuff, and I'll show you that in a bit. But you can see here all the commands they've listed out here, which you can follow. Now, some antivirus companies will automatically add this uh, registry key in there for you when you install it and uh, some don't and you will have to physically add this in so you can bypass this issue and i will leave all that information in the video description so you can follow it okay now there is a list of antiviruses uh, that will uh, automatically do that and i'll show that list a little bit later on in the video but you can see these commands here you just have to follow this uh, tutorial here to get it installed it's very easy to do mine is already done so i don't need to do it but i will leave all the information for you guys in there because i can see some of you are having some issues now first off you need to download the file now yours may be already installed and I'll show you where to look. You can see the KB4054022. Uh, you can get this from the Microsoft Update catalog. If you click on that link, it will take you to their page and you can see this is where you can download the, the right file for your machine. Now once you've got that, you just install it and you should be good to go. Now I'll quickly show you here in the control panel. If you look inside control panel here, uh, you'll see under the... Uh, view installed updates you should be able to see uh, the actual update when it's installed now you can see mine is already in there so i don't have to worry and that's why it was coming up saying i'm not vulnerable uh, because it's been installed already so that's where you can check if you need to check to see whether you've already got the update and it's uh, already installed okay so the next website we're going to take a look at is bleeping computer now you can cross-reference uh, with bleeping computer here to see whether your system has been patched and if you're a bit concerned about it then you can use this website and this article here to check whether the uh, CPU flaws have been patched or not now there's also another issue here with the um, antivirus and you need to make sure uh, that it's in compliance with this uh, registry key and it all tells you about this in this article here so you can go ahead and read right through here now my system's already patched but you can see there's some useful links here for the google docs file which give you a contains a full list of uh, all the av companies okay that's on that list that says it's acceptable for this registry file in the red there you want to read that right in where it says we'll display this in red so it sticks out do not run this registry file unless you're confirmed with your av vendor that you're compatible with the uh, meltdown uh, issue okay for, uh, for the patches that you need to be done so there is a reg file here which you can either create your own or you can download the one here by clicking on this again don't run this file until you've checked the uh, AV compatible list okay and that list is up the top there which is called the Google uh, Docs file and I'll show you that uh, right now so we're going to click on this and you can see here it gives you a list of vendors here and basically it sets a registry key yes Avas has already done that and it's already supported by Avas so that's the antivirus I'm using so I'm good to go I don't need to worry about that but if you're using one of these ones that says no then you need to uh, check with that first okay so you can read the whole article I will leave all these in the video description here now there's also some other information on bleeping computer which you can use about checking the status of your patch on your system and it's using PowerShell and uh, you can do that by uh, using these commands so they've released these commands here you want to make sure that you're running PowerShell with administrator privileges and it's all listed here and screenshotted so you don't have have to have me showing you but it's pretty straightforward you can see the commands you just right click copy and paste these and they will run okay and it gives you a full list of what to do here to get the status of your patching on your system 
and it will tell you whether you've been patched or if you've not been patched. It's that simple. So just follow the sequence of uh, commands here. You can see they're all listed one, two and three. And uh, then you can move on down uh, to the next step. Now remember guys, uh, not all CPUs are vulnerable to this uh, uh, CPU bug. And uh, as you can see here, if you do run these commands and it shows up red and it says false, that means you are vulnerable and you do need to patch your system, okay? And uh, you need to follow all those uh, articles there and get your system patched as soon as possible. You can see Windows updates do have a patch available to you and you can uh, update that and install that patch uh, via there if you want to do it that way or you can do it the manual way. Either way, it doesn't really matter as long as you get it patched. Now, once you run that, uh, check again you should see all green text saying true and it's all been patched and you now are safe and you shouldn't be getting any vulnerabilities or security vulnerabilities uh, from that cpu bug okay anyway i hope this one helps you out i'll leave all the information in the video description now sorry i couldn't show you the patching process itself because microsoft has took care of that for me but anyway my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great weekend guys bye for now now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here, click on the red subscribe button, and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button, and this will notify you when I upload new videos.